CES is really interesting in how it's evolved over the years. I think, you know, predominantly started off as a show to look at new gadgets, new technology. And I think what it's turned into is a forum for the industry to really come together. And I think it's less about, you know, um, what new televisions are launching or what new mobile phones are launching. There are now other conferences where those suppliers or those manufacturers are announcing those uh, innovations. And I, I think what our clients are looking for now uh, to CES is to actually come together with media owners, technology companies, emerging uh, opportunities, and really understand the, the future um, of marketing through the lens really of data and innovation. So I think that, that what they're looking for is to really understand where things are going, um, particularly around new technology innovations and also around the future of data. When I think about what excites clients or perhaps they're worried about going into something like CES is, you know, and I think it's probably consistent with what agency folks are as well. I know I'm certainly, when I think about what, what I worry about is just the how overwhelming I think CES can be. Um, walking the floor, if you don't have a tour guide to help you navigate that, it can be first exhausting um, uh, and quite demanding on your feet. But I think importantly is just, you know, how do you make sense out of everything that's happening um, in CES? So I think that's the first thing is just, you know, how do I identify the most important things, the things I should pay attention to? I think that's what clients, um, I, I don't know if I'd say worried about, but that's one of the things that, you know, how do I navigate that? I think in terms of what they're excited about, it's probably what we're all excited about, which is the opportunity to identify new opportunities to learn about you know, what might be coming down the road. Um, and then I think it's our job you know, as agencies to be able to help them navigate that, but then take those opportunities and oftentimes translate that into near-term opportunities um, through the lens of marketing and media. This has been an unprecedented year, certainly, uh, Pitchapalooza. I think is what it's been called and you know we've certainly felt it as an agency i think our people have felt it as well and certainly the industry has felt it i think it's actually um, setting a precedence in terms of um, identifying or at least marking a change in what um, clients are expecting from agencies what agencies capabilities need to be in sort of the uh, digitizing world and you know, we talk about the fact that um, we're now living in the digital economy and the dominant economy is the digital economy and that fundamentally changes what's important for media agencies. We fared pretty well globally. Um, we're at about $1.8 billion in net new business, so that is wins minus losses. And that doesn't account for some of the major decisions that are still yet to come this year, from Procter & Gamble, Sony, and so on. Um, I think that what agencies are focused on now are things like a technology stack, um, a data strategy, importantly how they help clients moving from legacy reservation, uh, less flexible media into much more dynamic, automated, and addressable media. There is a lot of complexity, but always, you know, complexity enables opportunity. And I, when you think about television, the future of television, there is so much opportunity. I think in the very least, what we need to try to get to is a single source of data across screens that's helping us be able to measure the impact um, of those changing consumer behaviors on how they're actually um, you know, ingesting, viewing, um, engaging in video content. So I think there's a challenge associated with that today and, and we're trying to drive some change in that status quo to help us have better single source data so that we can actually confidently help move our clients' dollars into a much more multi-channel approach to TV. The second thing that I think is really valuable is how we start to get to a much more addressable audience in video. And there are a number of ways to do that. In and of themselves, there's not a lot of scale, but taken together, we can start to uh, amass some scale. There's still some barriers in connected TVs, OTT, thinking about uh, programmatic video, all of those have their inherent challenges, but our clients are testing in those formats, they're learning about those formats, and as we start to overcome some of those barriers and scale that, I think our clients will be on the forefront of being able to take advantage of those new TV opportunities.